okay guys in this video we're gonna see how we can uh, divide two numbers so so we have this clear conception of dividend dps are or uh, remainder and the results so the quotient so firstly the, the rule here is we have to keep the dividend dividend into ax and we can keep divisor into any register or variable so we are not here using variable so the important thing is to keep the dividend into uh, ax register keep the dividend and the divisor into any register and the result will be uh, moved into AL register and the remainder will be in AH so that's the concept so if you can understand this and everything will be easy for you okay now let's start with taking to input move h into 1 and 21 h move so we're moving the value of l into bh register just for our convenience so we're subtracting uh, 48 from bh for uh, converting uh, into decimal number move h1 again int 21h now we're moving the value of l into bl so so now we have to do something uh, in the way that the dividend so in this case i want the first input to be dividend so wherever the first input is will be the dividend so to do so you can do that anything you want to but in this case i want to uh, uh first uh first input as one to make the first input the dividend and the second input the divisor so so i have already uh, kept the divisor into bl so i have to um, this is the dividend I to do something in the way uh, we can, I can keep the dividend into AX register so um, so I can do is just move the value of uh, uh, pH into CL so now move the value of C's into 0 so now we can move the value of CX into AX We are moving the value of 6 into x register and that's how we can keep this um, the first input the first number into x register okay you can do it in different in your own way it doesn't matter just learn the cool thing and then try to join so now you have to use the div function along with a register the divisor so dividend is in ax and the divisor is bl whatever uh, the number is in your dividend will be divided by the divisor bl so and the result will be stored in be stored in al and the remainder will go in h so here we're not complicating things we're just forgetting about the remainder we're just uh, focusing on the results so now here with the assessment which is aad which is means the l just after dividing so now you have to add 48 again with the result which is AL uh, I told you earlier result will be stored in AL so to add a 48 with the AL so now I have to print it H2 you know the print function so to move the value of uh, H A, I'm sorry AL into DL so that we can print it 
so i've told you many times that whenever you want to print something you have to keep it into dl or dx register so now int go into an h so let's run this so let's uh, assume the dividend is 9 and divisor is 3 so there's a problem okay let's see what is the problem so now oh guys uh, i have made a mistake here so i can subtract 48 from bl so let's do that 48 all right now run it let's see what it shows so the dividend is 9 and the divisor is 3 and the result is 3 and that's cool so let's run it again reload run try to another input oh, okay let's assume the dividend is 4 the divisor is 2 the result is 2 and that's how we can do division in assembly language it was pretty simple just um, understand the basic things the just the theoretical thing you understand that and then we apply that into the coding so good luck guys bye